in order to create a new report, we have to go here to main menu, then to new, and then we will choose report. Uh, first, we have to choose between uh, these templates. Templates are just a way to initially partition space in our report. And we have to choose between teams and teams are just color teams. I will select these default choices and I will click on create. Uh, then we will add some data source. If we click here on select the source, my content and team content will be open. And here we can choose between some data modules or packages. There are different uh, kind of data sources. For this example, I will go to my content and I will choose a great outdoors data module. I will click on open. And now we will uh, see all of the tables in our uh, module. Inside of each table, we have many uh, columns. If we cannot find some column, we can type here in search field, for example, date, and it will find all of the columns with date in their names. We can remove this filter and we can add some more data sources so it is possible to have several data sources in one report. Uh, beside this tab, we also have this second tab. Here we have widgets. Now, the working process is actually first to add some uh, widgets inside of working area. This is our working area and then to fill those widgets with data from data source. Now, if I click on this button, I will expand all of the sections so we can see that there are a lot of uh, different widgets. We can also present our widgets as a list and we can search for our widgets. For example, to type date, we will find all the widgets with date in their uh, names. Now, how to add a widget inside of working area? Well, there are three ways. First is we can just drag it. We will use this a list widget. We can drag it like this, and when I release my mouse, uh, a new dialog will appear. I will click on cancel. Second way is just to double click on here on list, and again we will get this dialog. And third way is actually to use uh, this menu here. Now this menu will appear only initially when report is empty. After we add the first widget, uh, this menu will disappear. So if we click here on list, that uh, same menu will appear. In this dialog, we can enter a name for our widget and we can enter a name for a query that will provide data to our widget. I will just accept these default values and I will click on OK. And now we can see our list inside of our report. And this is the time when we should add some data to our list. For that, we will go here to data sources uh, we will expand this time table and first we will add here a column. We are adding column by dragging it. I will drag it and then when I see this blinking line, I will release my mouse. And this is our first column. Then we will do the same with month column. We will drag it until we see here uh, this blinking line and then we release a mouse. And we can also add quarter column. We will go here. When we see a blinking line, we release our mouse. It is also easy to delete a column. If I uh, select this header, and then if I click uh, delete on my keyboard, this column will be deleted, but I can easily put it back by dragging it, like this. Now, we can notice that our report only has placeholders. There are no real uh, data, because we are in design view. If we go here to this menu, we can jump to uh, preview view. If we click here, then we will see the real uh, date. But this view is problematic because now every time we change something in our uh, report, the uh, data would be recalculated and that, will, that would uh, take some time. So instead of that, we will make our report inside of design view and only from time to time we will jump to preview view to uh, check our results. Above our list, there is a toolbar. And this, this toolbar has many uh, comments that we can use to change our list. Also, here we have this uh, properties button and with it we can open this pane with many properties for our uh, widgets uh, and other objects. Now, these uh, commands in this toolbar and in this properties pane are context sensitive. So, depending on what is selected, they will change. We, we will never have the same list of commands, but it all depends on, on what is currently selected. 
Now, here uh, at the left side, we can save our report. If we click on Save, we will get a dialog where we can uh, choose where to save our uh, report inside of My Content or uh, Theme Content. With this button, we can notify someone that our uh, report is uh, created. Then we have Undo and Redo uh, buttons, and we can generate our report. If we go here to Run Action, we can choose File Format. I will choose Excel File Format. I will click on it, and now our report will be created. We will now go back. Now, if we preview our uh, data, so if we go to uh, Preview View, in this case, uh, we will notice that we don't see all of the data. But here uh, below, we have these buttons. We have Page Down, and we have Page Up. So we can see in that way all of our data. We can increase our real estate by uh, hiding this pin, by clicking on this button, we can hide it, and we can also hide our properties. We can hide them, and then we can preview our uh, report inside of HTML. So if we click on HTML, that is the same as if we disable this edit mode. In both cases, we will get uh, this, and this is how we can easily preview results of our report.